I think we've got just enough time for me to read one chapter before you go today. Oh, Miss Thomason. Yes, Sarah? My mom went to the hospital today to have the baby. She did? You're just now telling me? Yeah, I kind of forgot until I just remembered that my grandparents are picking me up today. Well, I am so excited for you. Dude, it's coming today? On May 4th? Yep. Bro, that's awesome. May the 4th. They should name it Chewbacca or Yoda. Why would they do that? He's talking about Star Wars because in the movie they always say, May the Force be with you, and it sounds kind of like the date, May the 4th. I really like Star Wars. My dad and I always watch Star Wars when I go to his house. I don't really like it, but he always lets me eat junk food. You could name the baby Leia, like Princess Leia. I'm pretty sure they've already decided on a name, even if it is May the 4th. Day. Well, I cannot wait to hear all about it, and I know you're going to be a great big sister. I hope so. i got a lot to teach her about and warn her about. I still think Chewbacca would be a cool name. Well, I'll happily call you Chewbacca, unless you prefer Chewy. I got to go to the hospital this morning to see the baby. She's here? How is she? How's your mom? She's good. She made my dad go out and get her a burrito and a chocolate shake for breakfast. Well, I hope he got it for her. Of course he did. You do not want to mess with my mom when she's hungry. <laughs> Congratulations on being a big sister, Sarah. Thanks, Emma. My dad says she looks just like me, but I don't know why he says that, because I think she kind of looks like an alien. Well, I mean, Jake. I mean, aliens are cool. I bet she's so cute, and you'll get to dress her up in cute little outfits and put little bows in her hair. She doesn't really have much hair yet. So what did they name the little Star Wars baby? Actually, Jake, she wasn't born until after midnight, so her birthday is not May the 4th. It's the 5th. So the 5th of May? Yes, and thank goodness, so now you can't give her any more of those ridiculous names. But Cinco de Mayo, even better. Oh, boy. Here we go. Actually, Jake, she wasn't born until after midnight, so her birthday is not May the 4th. It's the 5th. So the 5th of May? Yes, and thank goodness, so now you can't give her any more of those ridiculous names. But Cinco de Mayo, even better. Oh, boy. Here we go. All I was going to say is that it'd be a really cool day to have a birthday. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess it would be. And you could call her enchilada. Anyway, her name is Cecilia, and we're going to call her Cece. Cece? Dude, that's perfect. Like for chips and queso. Chips and queso, really? <sighs> Actually, queso starts with a Q, not a C. Okay, I think we better get started with class. And Sarah, Cecilia is a beautiful name for your sister. Anyway, I got you this. What is it? It's a baby Ruth bar. I covered up the name Ruth so you can write in whatever the baby's name is. Oh, thanks. Just when I can't stand you for another second, you go and do something nice. Today it's a candy bar, but one day it'll be a diamond ring. Well, we have homework this year. Are we going to have a lot of tests? Do we have to learn long division? Can I go to the bathroom? I brought you a Diet Coke and a Twix. We heard they were your favorite. And I even put the straw in for you already. So, my sister told me everything about this class, and she said you were on TikTok. Do we get to make TikToks with you? I could not sleep last night. I was so excited. I picked up my outfit four weeks ago, but then I changed it three times this morning, and then I put this one back on. Do you like it? This is my new lunchbox. What are we doing first today? Where do I sit? Hi, Sarah. This year's going to be so easy. I've already read all the Percy Jackson books. I know how to add fractions, and I can name all the presidents in order. We just moved here from Seattle, so I'm new here. My old school's a lot nicer than this one. We never had to sit at tables at my old school. My old school had the best cafeteria food, probably way better than here. Hi guys, hi Katie, hi Emma, hi Jake. Jamie, are you sitting by me? I didn't have time to do the summer reading assignment. My mom hasn't gotten the school supplies yet. Oh, and I forgot my backpack and my lunch. Miss Thomas and my grandma and grandpa are picking me up from school today. They are? Yep, I'm staying with them all week while my mom and dad are out of town. That'll be fun for you. Sarah, where are your parents going? They're going to Sedona. It's in Arizona. Sedona, Arizona. You didn't get to go with them? That's probably why they went, just so they could get a break from Potterhead over here. Jake, if anyone needs a break, it's your poor parents. Dude, 
I'm delightful. Anyway, I'd much rather stay with my grandparents than go to the literal desert. Not me, there's nothing to do at my grandparents' house. They don't even have Disney Plus. What are they going to Sedona for? They said they're going on a baby moon. What's a baby moon? Oh, it's when the parents go away to get stuff for the baby. No, it's when they go away so they can be all kissy kissy before the baby gets here. Um, let's go ahead and go over your morning work. Sarah, how's it been going over at your grandparents' house this week? It's so fun. We eat ice cream every night and my grandma's teaching me how to knit. You're learning how to knit? <laughs> Bro, next thing you know, you'll be playing bingo and talking about the good old days. I love bingo. My grandpa and I have been playing Wordle. I make him wait until I get home from school so we can do it together. What's Wordle? It's an online word puzzle game and you have six chances to guess the five letter word of the day. Joseph, you want to know what today's word is? No, Jake, the number one rule about Wordle is you don't talk about the word until the next day. Okay, class, it's time for lunch. My grandma lets me bring whatever I want for lunch. Today I have Lunchables. Bye, Miss Thomason. Bye, Sarah. Oh, your parents are coming back tomorrow, right? Yep, it's my last night of freedom. Sarah, before you go, I have something pretty serious to tell you. Okay. I just want to tell you that uh, today's Wordle is thorn. Ah! Jake, no! Sarah, did your mom and dad make it back from Sedona okay? Yep, and I don't know what they did while they were there, but my mom seems way less crabby now. Oh, I bet it was so romantic. Ew, no, it wasn't romantic. It was a baby moon. It was to get ready for the baby. But they brought me back this shirt. Another Harry Potter shirt? Really? Oh, you can read. That's very good, Jake. I love all your Harry Potter shirts. Look, Miss Thomason, this is the blanket my grandma helped me knit for the baby. You made that? It's beautiful. Well, see this part right here where it's kind of messed up? That's the part I did. My grandma did the rest. You know what? I bet that is the part of the blanket your sister is going to love the best. Okay, class, once you've washed your hands, you can get your lunch out. Uh, it's back to boring sandwiches and fruit. No more Lunchables and chips like grandma made. Those were the good old days. Miss Thomason, guess what? I have a loose tooth. See? Ooh, yep, I bet you'll have that out by the end of the week. End of the week? No, I gotta get it out at the end of today so the tooth fairy can come tonight. Sarah, I know you have a lot of important wiggling to do, but be sure to do your classwork, okay? Oh, sorry. I just really wanna get my tooth out. How's it going with the tooth? I gotta keep wiggling. I really want that tooth fairy money. Do you want me to help you with that? I'm really good at pulling teeth. Oh, no thanks, Miss Thompson. My daddy always says if you want money, you gotta work for it. Okay. Miss Thompson? I swallowed my tooth and now I don't have a tooth for the tooth fairy. Oh no, Sarah. I am sure the Tooth Fairy will understand. You probably don't remember being a kid, but you have to have the tooth under your pillow to get the money. Okay, take some deep breaths and let's see if we can think of a solution. <sighs> I could draw a picture of my tooth, even though I don't know what it looked like. I could write a note to the Tooth Fairy, or you could write a note and explain what happened. I could punch Jake in the mouth and take one of his teeth. Mm, that might not be the best solution. Yeah, the Tooth Fairy would probably know it wasn't my tooth. Oh, one time my little cousin swallowed a quarter and they waited a few days and <laughs> then it came out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I got a lot of thinking to do. Well, you've got some good options. Let me know what you decide. Miss Thomas and I made this fake tooth to put under my pillow and I wrote the Tooth Fairy a note. So can you just sign it so that she knows that I'm telling the truth? Okay, I hope this works. It's gonna work. Bye, Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson, guess what? It worked. It did, what happened? The Tooth Fairy left me this note and $10. Wow, what did the note say? She said, thanks for the note. And she said kids swallow their teeth all the time. Really? And look, she also said that she was glad that I didn't leave her a poop tooth. <laughs> I bet she was. And she said to tell you thank you, and I brought this for you to say thank you for helping me. You know these are my favorite. Thank you, Sarah. Go ahead and get started on your work. I'm so glad it all worked out. Um, Miss Thomason? Guess what? Miss Thomason, you know what tomorrow is? Of course I do. It's your birthday. And yours too. 
That's right. Me and Miss Thomason have the same birthday. You do? Yep. We're literally twins. I don't think literally is the correct term. Let me guess, you're having a Harry Potter party. No, Jake. I'm not having a party this year just because my mom and dad have a lot going on with the new baby. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. It's okay. I still get to pick where we go for dinner and I am getting a Harry Potter cake. Ha, I knew it. He knows you. Anyway, I just love Cece. So getting a baby sister is a pretty good present. That's very mature of you, Sarah. I don't think I've ever heard the words Sarah and mature in the same sentence before. I think you're confusing that with the words Jake and mature. What do you mean? I'm very mature. Yes, I see that. Miss Thomason, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you too. I brought you some crumble cookies. Thank you, I love crumble cookies. I know. Happy birthday, Sarah. I hope it's a really good one. Oh, thanks, Emma. I can't believe you don't get to have a party this year. I get to have two parties, one at my mom's house and one at my dad's house. Oh, but at least we're still going to dinner and we're getting ice cream. That'll be nice, but we have to go right after school. Otherwise the baby will start to get too fussy. Yeah, and your sister might get fussy too. My sister is the baby. Oh. Ha ha, you are so funny, Jake. I know, I'm hilarious. Oh, Subway. Is that for your birthday? Yep. Well, and I think because my mom's too tired to pack lunch. Dude, can I have some of your Doritos? That's my favorite kind. No way, Jake. I'm saving these for later. After you clean up, please get ready for a math quiz. A math quiz on my birthday? That seems like a crime. Math quiz on my birthday? That seems like a crime. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a birthday present. Is it from you, Katie? It's not from me, but open it. There's a Harry Potter Pez dispenser. And a whole box of fidgets. And a water bottle. There's a cat on it. Those are all of your favorite things. It doesn't say who it's from. Definitely someone who really likes you. Emma? No, it's not from me. Well, if it's not from you or Katie, then... Once you finish your quiz, you can go on outside. Miss Thomason, can I use my teacher coupon today? Sure, I'll just go get the desk all set up. Emma, I'm gonna be the assistant teacher today. Oh, good. Assistant to the teacher. Dude, I was gonna use my DoorDash thing today. It's fine, just write down what you want. We will have to review and approve your order though, Jake. Sarah, just because you're sitting at the teacher's desk doesn't mean you're the teacher. That's Miss Sarah to you. A whole day of this? I'll never make it. Miss Sarah, can you help me with this math problem? Oh, uh, I, I definitely could, Katie, but I think it'd be better if you used your resources and figure it out yourself. Sarah, just because you're sitting at the teacher's desk doesn't mean you're the teacher. That's Miss Sarah to you. A whole day of this, I'll never make it. Dude, you don't even wear glasses. Yes, Emma? Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know, can you? Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I just always wanted to say that. Jake, your lunch is here. Ah, sweet, I need food. I'm gonna have to take a teacher tax, so that'll be one french fry, please. What? Here, I'll give you three fries and a cookie if you just stop giving me that look. Very nice job, Jake. You get an A plus for the day. Ooh, looks like somebody is Sarah's teacher's pet. <sighs> it's good to be the teacher. Hi, Miss Thomason. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Sarah. Happy Valentine's Day to you. My dad gave me this bag in the car. It has candy and chips. All my favorite things. That was a nice surprise. Emma, I brought Harry Potter Valentines. What kind did you bring? I got Mad Libs. I thought it would be a fun way for everyone to practice their grammar. I couldn't decide, so I got two kinds. Oh, I love both of those. What about you, Jake? Or did you even remember it's Valentine's Day? I brought food. 
And if anybody doesn't want theirs, you can just give it back to me. Always thinking with your stomach. That's just how I roll. What about you, Joseph? What kind did you bring? Plus, let's get started. We'll begin our party after math. Ugh. Math is always getting in the way of fun. I think math is fun. It's fun when you go shopping so you know what 40% off is. That's how I get my mom to buy me stuff. It's funny you say that because our lesson today is on percents. Does anybody else know anything about percents? I know that 100% of me is not interested in math right now. Okay class, you can go ahead and hand out your Valentines now. You can put mine in my bag or in this box that came with my Valentines. Are we gonna start eating when we're done passing them out? Joseph, catch. Jake, are you ever not hungry? Dude, I'm a man now. I need nutrients. There is just so much wrong with that sentence. Sorry, Jake, my Valentines don't have any food in them. I don't either. Bruh. Miss Thomason, I got this for you. Thank you, you know I love Kit Kats. Just be sure you eat them the right way or people get mad. <laughs> yes. I think I got everybody. What is this? Sarah, I got you this because of what it says on the tag. It's just signed with the letter J. It's not signed except for the letter J, but the only J names we have in this class are Jake and Joseph, is it from you? It was Jake who put that on your desk. Jake? Wait, the note says to read the tag. It probably says he farted on it or something. Ew. What does the tag say? This is Mallow. She's learning a new language and getting a new sister. Oh, that's why he gave it to you because you're gonna have a baby sister. That's really sweet. It is. So why do you look so unhappy? Just when I think we hate each other, he goes and does something like this. And all I gave him was a Harry Potter card. He doesn't even like Harry Potter. I'm sure he's not expecting anything in return. I know, but I know. I'm gonna give this to him. That's the bag of treats her dad gave her this morning. Jake, thanks for the Squishmallow. I really love it. I didn't give you anything. Well, I didn't give you this either. Bro. Cool. Hi, Miss Thomason. Is today the first day of April? Hi, Sarah. Yes, it is. It's April 1st. That means it's almost time. You must be so excited to be a big sister. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that too. But no, I'm talking about the new Dumbledore movie. I cannot wait to see it. Oh, all I have to do is look at you and I see Dumbledore. That's funny. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. April 1st though, know what else it is? Yeah, it's April Fool's Day. You better watch out. Oh, that explains why my teeth were black after I brushed them this morning. At least I hope that's why. Did you know April Fools began in ancient times? I watched a documentary on the History Channel. Forget that, it's the coolest day of the year. It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jake. Yeah, right, Jake. April Fools, we're not falling for that. Dude, seriously, I brought cookies. It really is. Well, happy birthday, I guess. It's so fitting that you were born on April Fools Day. You're the ultimate prank on your parents every year. The ultimate gift, you mean? Sure, Jake, sure. Sarah, what are you doing there? I'm making something for Jake for his birthday. So nice of you. I'm so happy to see you two getting along better. Yeah. Hey class, it's time for our math test. Make sure your pencils are sharp and you're going to need some scratch paper. We have a math test today? Math test? I don't have anything in my planner about a math test. There goes my phone privileges for a week. I'm very disappointed. I told you we would be having this benchmark test on April 1st, on April Fool's Day. Oh, thank goodness, my phone is safe. I gotta admit, Miss Thomason, that was pretty good. Oh, that was really funny. I knew it was a joke all along. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna be having Jake's birthday cookies. I got this for you because I know you like cookie cake. Really? Thanks, Jake. Thank you, Jake. What's wrong with everybody's cookies? <laughs> Jake, this is disgusting. I loaded them with salt. <laughs> that was a good one, Jake. But you gave me the... Oh, he wanted you to have the good one. That's so romantic. Happy birthday. Wait, don't open that. 
Happy birthday, April Fools. Thanks for the cookie. Sold to Joseph. You get to chew gum in class all week. Good job, Joseph. Next item is the TikTok takeover. What? You get to record a video and post it on my TikTok. The best price ever, $15. $18. $18. Jake, you want that? Yeah. $20. $25. $30. Any other bidders? I have my own TikTok account. I have 47 followers. I don't really know what TikTok is. Going once? $40. 50 What are you gonna do, sit there and talk about Harry Potter and fidget toys? $55. What are you gonna do, sit there and talk about video games? $60. All I have to do is sit there and show my face and I'll get like a million likes. Jake? Oh yeah, $80. 96 $97. Going once? Going twice? Sold to Sarah. Yes! I didn't even want that. I was just trying to get you to spend all your money. I would have paid any amount of money to keep you off Miss Thomason's TikTok. Miss Thomason, I'm trying to decide what I should do when I take over your TikTok account. Oh, you always have great ideas. I'm sure you'll think of something. You've got a little bit of time. Oh, I could tell them what I'm having for lunch. I've seen a lot of teachers do that. Yes, I love to watch those. Ugh. Of all days to have a tuna sandwich and a banana. Boring. I will not be doing that. Maybe I could tell jokes like, what flower is between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? That's a good one. I could dance. I've been practicing the jerk. Watch. That's impressive. I could read Harry Potter to them. Do you think your followers would like that? I think they're going to love whatever you decide to do. How much time will I have? You'll have 60 seconds. One minute. 60 seconds? I've got a lot to pack in in a little amount of time. I just press record. Okay, okay, I did it. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I am taking over Miss Thomason's TikTok today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and about my class, but I only have 60 seconds. This is my favorite part of the class where all the books are, especially the Harry Potter books. My teacher, Miss Thomason, is really nice, but sometimes she can be strict too, like if we're talking too much. You don't want to see that side of her. Don't tell her I told you that. She let me come into her office, and I've never been in here before, but look. She likes cats as much as I do. Look at all the cat stuff she had. I found her secret stash. This is where Jake sits. We don't need to talk about him, but I'm taping his pencil box shut. Now I'm going to tell you about our class jobs. The best job at... What? Out of time? Oh. Bye. See you next time. If there is a next time. Miss Thomason, I think you've got some explaining to do. Um, did you not understand the math assignment? It's not about that. This is about something important. Oh, read the comments on that video I made, and people said I could have made a three-minute video, but you said I only had one minute. Well, about that. Yeah, about that. But, you know, I usually only do one-minute videos, too, so... Maybe I can make another video sometime? Maybe. We'll see about that. That means yes. That's what my parents always say when they really mean yes. Did you read anything else? They kept asking when they were going to see the real Sarah. I don't know why they kept saying that. Well, that's strange. They also said that I ate a Kit Kat the wrong way. They did? Well, how did you eat it? If you have another one, I'll show you. Okay. I can't imagine how anyone would eat it wrong. I just go like this. Oh yeah, no, that is, that is wrong. How do you eat it? You have to break it apart. No, that's weird. I'm pretty sure you and all of the internet are wrong. Miss Thomason, are we gonna have a lot of homework today? Because I'm gonna be really busy tonight organizing all my squishies. That sounds important, Sarah. Actually, I'm not assigning any homework today because you have that big math test this afternoon. No homework? That's good because I have a lot of squishies. Hey, Jake, do you want to trade lunches with me? Bro, no, not my pizza lunchable. Please, you can have all of this. No way, dude, I don't like any of that stuff. Plus, I have a cupcake. Well, what if I do your homework for you tonight, too? Then will you trade? All my homework tonight? Yep. All your homework. Bet. I've never had the pizza ones before. I promise you I'll do my best work on your homework. Go ahead and clean up your lunches. We'll get ready for our math test. And you'll be happy to know that there is no homework tonight. What? Wow. I guess I'm really lucky.
Hi, Miss Thomason. Sorry I'm late today. I had to go to the dentist, but my mom let me get McDonald's on the way to school because I had no cavities. Way to go, Sarah. You're just in time. We just started lunch. Did I miss anything while I was gone? Hey, Sarah, want to trade lunches? No way, Jake. Dude, I have Lunchables. You know you love these. Yes, I love them, but you know McDonald's is better. What if I do your homework for you too? I don't know. Wait, Miss Thomason, are we gonna have homework tonight? Yes, I have a math assignment for you. Math? Ugh. Okay, it's a deal. Yum. Make sure you get here early tomorrow so I can put my name on the homework, okay? I'm handing back last night's homework. Nice job, Jake, 100. I got a 72. <laughs> Payback. I never said I'd get you a good grade on it. Are you kidding me? This is a good grade. It's way better than what I would have got if I did this. Miss Thomason, guess what? Hi, Sarah. What's up? When we have our class auction today, I'm not going to buy anything because I'm going to save my money. I have $82 and I'm going to save until I get $100. That is a very good goal. My dad always says you should save for a rainy day. I guess that's so you can buy an umbrella. Okay, it's time for our class auction, so go ahead and get out your money and count how many dollars you have to spend. I already know I got $82, but I'm not getting it out because I'm not gonna spend. You can do your free reading with a flashlight in the tent for the week. Ooh, sold to Emma. Yay, Emma, you'll really like that. Next up, I've got a mystery bag. And sold to Jake. What's in it, Jake? A homework pass. You're lucky. Next up is a trip to the prize box. You can get whatever you want. No. Matthew, come pick out your prize. That's a really good prize. Now I've got a big box of fidgets that Mrs. Bench sent me. Be strong, Sarah. Be strong. I have this shimmer bear. I don't know if I can be strong. I can do this. Save your money, Sarah. Save your money. With this prize, you get this whole bag of different kinds of black and white fidgets. Ooh, I really like that. But I don't need it, I don't need it. And sold to Matthew, here you go. That's probably what I would've got too. But I'm saving my money. Next is one of these globby balls. I love the way these squish. Ooh, luckily I already have one of those. With this one you can massage and move your fingers. I've done really good. Saving money really isn't that hard. And the last item today is this butterfly poppet. $82. I bid $82. <laughs> I had a feeling you might want this, but I'm sorry you didn't save your money. Why save money when you can buy this? Miss Thomason, guess what? Well, I don't know, Sarah. You'll have to tell me. It's almost Halloween and I still haven't decided on my costume. Oh, my mom said if I don't decide today, then I'm not getting a costume. But you have all day to think about it. Always know what I want to be for Halloween, but this year I just can't decide. Just be a clown and then you won't even have to wear a costume. Ha ha, real funny, Jake. What about you? What are you going to be? I'm going to be a zombie and it's going to be bloody and gory and scary. Well, if you wanted to be scary, all you have to do is come as yourself. Emma, do you know what you're gonna be? I'm gonna be a scientist because that's what I wanna be when I grow up. Oh, that'll be good. That's a really big decision because next year I'll be 10 and then I'll probably be too mature to wear a costume. Eight times seven. What's eight times seven? And I've narrowed my costume down to two choices. Now I have between here and the car to decide which one. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hi, Miss Thomason. I cannot wait for the party today. Hi, Sarah. I'm excited, too. Time to put your costumes on, and while you're waiting your turn, be sure to make your guess for how many candies are in the jar. Jake, what happened to all the blood and the gore and the clothes and stuff you said you were going to do? It was too much work. Well, at least everybody knows what you are, because it says... Well, Emma, you look exactly like a scientist. Thanks, Sarah. Homenum Revelio. Uh-oh, something went wrong with my spell. I just couldn't decide between Hermione and a cat, so I'm a Hermione cat. The winner of the jar is Emma. There were 105 candies in the jar, and she guessed exactly 105. Emma, how did you guess the exact right number? There are five candies along the length, five candies along the width, and then six candies deep, and I multiplied those together and subtracted 30% because of the gaps, and all I did was write down a number. Hi, Miss Thomason. Guess what? Hi, Sarah. 
My mom and dad said they have a really big surprise for me after school today. Ooh, what do you think it is? I don't know, but from the way they were talking, it's gonna be really good. I just cannot wait till after school to find out what my surprise is. This is gonna be the longest day ever. What do you guys think it could be? I bet they're shipping you off to Australia. But at least I'd be far, far away from you. Maybe you'll get eaten by a crocodile. Maybe some new books. Maybe, but it seemed like it was something really, really big. Maybe they're taking you to the Smithsonian. I don't know what that is, but that sounds fun. Maybe they're taking me to Universal Studios, to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I bet that's it. That has to be it because the way they kept smiling at me this morning, I better start studying. Hi, Miss Thomason. Sarah, what's wrong? Didn't you get your surprise? It's, it's awful. What's wrong, Sarah? Turns out Sarah's surprise is really Sarah's demise. Oh, so they are shipping you off to Australia. I knew it. Jake, I wish that's what it was. What is it? My mom and dad are having a baby. Oh, that's so exciting. Exciting? How could that be exciting? Babies are so cute. What's cute about a crying, smelly baby that spits up everywhere? Little kids are cool. I have two little sisters. I feel sorry for those kids. Are you kidding me? They idolize me. They do whatever I tell them. Hmm. And you can read to the baby. And I do love reading. I know you're not real excited about it right now, but that baby is the luckiest baby to get to have you as a big sister. I feel a lot better about it now. Oh, good. Now the question is, when I read to the baby, do I start with the first Harry Potter book or the best one, The Prisoner of Azkaban? Well, I don't technically have my homework here, but I did it and it's at home. So technically I have my homework. Ms. Thomason, since today is Thursday and tomorrow we have the day off, that means today is technically Friday. I got a 66 on this and that's technically a 70. So technically I got a C, which I think is pretty good. These are fruit flavored, so technically they're really good for you. No, I didn't technically slap her. Her face just got in the way of my hand. Technically one and one is 11. Technically. Ms. Thomason, I saw Matthew put his classwork in the trash. You don't worry about Sarah and do your classwork, okay? Ms. Thomason, Jamie wrote Emily a mean note because Emily sat with Mia at lunch today. Ms. Thomason, I saw Jake take Katie's pencil. Okay, Sarah, now remember when you tell me something, think about is it something that I need to know or if it's just tattling. Ms. Thomason, aren't we supposed to be reading right now because I see Garrett drawing. Ms. Thomason, I think Joseph is there. I want to tell you that some of your classmates are a little upset because they think that you've been tattling on them a lot today. They were tattling on me? They should know if there's one thing you don't like, it's tattling. And you'll be playing the multiplication game with these new dice I have. So I'm gonna draw sticks for partners. Emma, I hope I get to be your partner. I hope so. Emma and Joseph. Oh, Joseph's not here today. So Emma and Katie. Oh, good thing Joseph's gone so I get the smartest kid in class. Dude, where has Joseph even been? I hope he hasn't been sick. Feels like we haven't seen him forever. Sarah and... Don't say Jake, don't say Jake, don't say Jake. Jake. Oh, lucky me. Lucky you is right. You get to work with the man. Multiplication practice and Jake? This is the worst day ever. Miss Thomason, can I go get my poppet out of my locker to have at my desk? Of course, Sarah, you know you're allowed to have a fidget at your desk. Thanks. Joseph, come talk to me and I'll help you with your makeup work. And then after you read chapter four, then you can complete this section, okay? Sarah, what is that? Oh, it's my unicorn poppet. Oh, that's your poppet. What'd you think I was gonna go get? So just be creative and have fun with your project. Jake, it's important that you do well on this, so let me know if you need help, okay? Yo, I don't have any scissors. I have some you can use. Cool, thanks, Sarah. Oh, I don't have a pencil. Oh, Jake needs a pencil. Oh, cool, thanks. Wait, we need glue for this? I don't have any glue. I have glue. Oh, you rock. Thanks. Here's a ruler. You're going to need this too. 
Thanks for hooking me up. My project's about to be fire. Sarah, it's almost time to go and you haven't started yet. What's going on? Um, I don't have any supplies. Miss Thomason, guess what? I fell off my bike last night and I sprained my ankle. Oh my goodness, did you go to the doctor? I didn't go to the doctor, but I told my mom it was sprained and she said that I'm not supposed to do PE today. Well, that's too bad, the fitness test is today. I know. Well, I'm supposed to sit with my foot up and um, I'm not supposed to walk around very much. Okay, do you have a note from your mom? No, she didn't write me a note, she just told me to tell you that. Multiplication practice? Miss Thomason, my ankle really hurts. Do you want me to call your mom, see if she can bring you some medicine? No, you don't need to call her. She's at work and she wouldn't be able to come anyways. I'm so sorry you have to miss PE today. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and read the whole time. I'll see you all after recess. Miss Thomason, my ankle feels so much better. It's probably because I rested all day. It's a miracle. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. 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 Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. 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 Oh no, Miss Thomason, I have my lunch. I think I left it in the car. Oh, that's okay, Sarah. I always have extras just for this reason. Thank you. I've never had these before. Miss Thomason, I forgot my lunch again. Again? You silly girl. Thank you. These are really good. Miss Thomason, guess what? I don't have my lunch again. Can I have another one of those Lunchables? Oh, Sarah, this is the third time in a row. I think I better call your mom so she can help you remember. No, don't don't call my mom. I, oh, actually, I do. I do have my lunch. Sarah, were you fibbing to me? I'm sorry. I just really like those Lunchables, and my mom never buys them for me. It's okay, love. Now, eat that good lunch your mom packed. Miss Thomason, you are so lucky that you get to do all those fast food reviews for your TikTok. Uh, it's pretty fun to do. Wait, you've seen my TikTok? Oh, remember I told you I always sneak my mom's phone while she's taking a shower so that I can watch TikTok? Oh, but you told me that Mrs. Bench was your favorite TikTok teacher, so uh, yeah, Mrs. Bench is the best. But your TikTok's good too, Miss Thomason. Mostly I like when you do the fast food because the food always looks so good. It's really good, but sometimes I get really full. Miss Thomason, I have the best idea. You should let me do one of your fast food videos for you. Hmm. It's not a bad idea, and it would save me some calories. I'll call your mom and see if it's okay with her. Yes, she won't mind, she'll let me do it. Your mom said it was okay, and she's even gonna pick it up and bring it to you. So look at all the orders and decide which one you want. Yes, let's see. Um, oh, I want this one. That one, okay, I'll let your mom know. Ms. Thomason, is it okay if I organize the class library during my free time today? because it's a real mess right now. Sure, if your work is all finished, I would love for you to do that. I've noticed it's a real mess lately. Thank you, Sarah. Yay, it's gonna be so good when I'm done. You have been working so hard over there. I hardly even know you're here today. <sighs> Gotta go get back to work now. How's it going, Sarah? Wow, you really took out all the books, didn't you? Don't worry, this is all part of the process. When I'm done, you are gonna love it. Thomason, I finished just in time. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna go check out what a great job you did as soon as everybody's gone. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Sarah. Miss Thomason, is it okay if I um, brought a desk pet to school if I promise to keep it in my backpack? I don't see why not, as long as it doesn't become a problem. Sarah, I need you to stay focused on your work, please. Huh? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, please line up for recess. Ooh, Miss Thomason, can I take my- No, Sarah, you can't take your desk pet to recess. Okay. Oh, Miss Thomason, can I put some water in here for my desk pet? I think she's thirsty. I bet she is. Of course you can. Bye, kids. See you tomorrow. Miss Thomason, before I go, you want to see my desk pet? I'd love to. I see you tomorrow. I can't. Sarah, I got this power.
package from my friend Mrs. Bench. Mrs. Bench from TikTok? Did she send you fidget toys? How do you even know about that? Well, sometimes when my mom takes a shower, I sneak her phone and I watch TikToks. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Anyway, you get to choose one of these to have in class. I've seen these dough balls, but this one. <gasps> Miss Thomason, I know what you do. You go. It's gonna be a tough choice. I might want this one because it's pink. Sarah, will you marry me? No way, but I'll keep this. This. This is this is the one. I want this one. Well, I know you love cats. It's a kawaii kitty. And I'm gonna name it Fiji. Will you please tell Mrs. Bench thank you and tell her she's my favorite TikTok teacher ever. I'll be sure to tell her. Hi, Miss Thomason. Sarah, I'm so glad you're back. I'm glad you're finally feeling better. Good old desk. How I've missed you. Oh, hey, look who's back. I even missed you, Jade. Hi, Emma. You're back. You were sick for so long. All I did the whole time was lay in bed and eat soup. I don't want to eat soup again for like 20 years. Sounds terrible. A good part of every day was when my mom's Amazon boxes were delivered, and then we got to hide them from my dad. So sad you had to miss the book fair. I'm just glad to be back. I'm even excited to do math. Did get you something? Harry Potter stickers? Emma! I got something for you too. You did? It's just my old book. I didn't buy it. Percy Jackson? You said you wanted to read it to see if it was better than Harry Potter, which it is. Oh, uh, we'll see about that. But that was pretty cool of you to do. Miss Thompson, you know what? When you're sick, you really do find out who your true friends are. Wait, does that make Jake a friend? Miss Thomason, can I use my read in a tent coupon? You have a tent coupon? Remember I got it at the very first class auction? I've been saving it for a rainy day. Oh, I do remember. What made you decide to use it today? It's raining outside. It's a rainy day. Oh, well yeah, let's get it set up. You're gonna disappear into a tent? That sounds like a prize for me. And it's a double prize for me because I get to read in the tent and I don't have to see you. Jake and Sarah, one of these days, you two are gonna figure out that you actually do like each other. No way, dude. I mean, Miss Thomason. That is never gonna happen. Finally, something we agree on. See you later. Finally stopped raining, so let's hurry and get outside before it starts again. Line up. Uh, Miss Thomason. What is it, Jake? Um, nothing. Okay, let's go. Almost finished with the book, but I have to tell you. Hello? Oh, well. Miss Thomason, guess what? Hi, Sarah, what is it? I want to do really good in school this year, so I have a really good plan. Well, I love a good plan. Hi, Emma. Who could give me an example of this? Three times five is the same as five times three. Yes, good. Sarah? Five times three is the same as three times five. Yes. Jake, watch this. Never mind. Miss Thomason, it's really hard being Emma. What? That was my plan, to just to do everything like Emma does, because she's a really good student. Well, honey, yes, she is a good student, but so are you. And I wouldn't want you to be anybody but Sarah, just how you are. Really? Really. That's really good, because I really miss my ponytail. Miss Thompson, do I look any different today? Like, older? Because today is my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, Sarah. Do I still have to do this, even though it's my birthday? Yes, you do. Ms. Thomason, I think that since I'm the birthday girl, that I should get to be the line leader today. No. My mom only let me have this because it's my birthday today. Not during class, Sarah. Okay. Bye, Ms. Thomason. Oh, we're getting pizza tonight and ice cream for my birthday dinner. Oh, wait, Sarah, guess what? Today is my birthday too. What? It's your birthday too? You never said anything all day. No, I didn't feel like I needed to announce it. Happy birthday, Miss Thomason. I think you should have this. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Sarah, and I will be presenting to you my chocolate project. I decided to try all these chocolate bars. 
rating between one and five Oompa Loompas. Hershey bar, and it's a classic, but it's kind of boring, and it's really only good on a s'more. So I gave it one Oompa Loompa. The only person I know that eats three Musketeers is my grandma. So it only gets one Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Plain ones get two Oompa Loompas, and peanut ones are twice as good. So they get four Oompa Loompas. Milky Way, two Oompa Loompas, and then I gave the Snickers three because I like a crunch. These are both five Oompa Loompas good. And I also happen to know that these are Miss Thomason's two favorites. Right, Miss Thomason? That's right. I also brought chocolate bars for everybody else to try. And you get to give your own ratings too. We put a lot of effort into this project. I didn't bring you the full size ones because after eating all that, bleh. Down to the last golden ticket. So either Emma, Jake, or Sarah has it. It's going to be me. Emma, you can open your bag. I didn't get it. Emma, you really deserved it. And Sarah, open yours. Okay. I feel pretty lucky, Miss Thomason. I didn't get it. Must be you, Jake. Go ahead and open it. Congratulations. Bruh. Where is it? It's not in there? I know I put five tickets in. You can eat three pieces of candy. I'm gonna try to figure out where that ticket is. At least we got all this candy. Sarah, look at your candy. Oh, I did get it. I got it. Found it? Yay, Sarah. I'm so happy for you. Dude, really? Miss Thomason, you know what? Just when you think all hope is lost, something great comes along. So true. Miss Thomason, guess what? Look. Ta-da! You got glasses? I didn't even know you needed glasses. Yep. Don't they look good? Yes, they look stunning. Wonder if anyone will notice. Hey, Emma, look, I got glasses. Can you see? Sarah, why aren't you wearing your glasses? Oh yeah. Silly me. I forgot. Bye, Miss Thomason. See you tomorrow. Bye, Sarah. Oh, I almost forgot my glasses. Oh no, Miss Thomason, they're broken. Don't worry, you can get them fixed. Just take them back to the eyeglasses place. Why would I go there? You know, because that's where you got your glasses. No, I got these out of my grandma's bedroom, but I bet she won't even notice they're gone. Bye, Miss Thomason. Oh. Everyone should have $5 on their desk. That's your pay for completing your classroom jobs last week. Now I have $57 and I really want to buy the coupon to sit at the teacher's desk when we have our next auction. Oh, please no. You at the teacher's desk? I can't handle that. Get ready, Jake, because I will spend all of my money to buy it. Ugh. You would be a good teacher assistant, Sarah. Thanks, Emma. I think I might want to be a teacher when I grow up. Oh, not me. They don't get paid enough and I don't even like kids. Dude, Katie, you are a kid. I know, right? Also this morning, I need to assign you your new class job. New jobs? Oh, good, because I do not like being equipment manager. It's too hard to carry all that stuff out. The whiteboard manager will be Emma. That sounds fun. Katie, you'll be our sanitation monitor. No, nobody better do anything gross. Jake, you'll be our technology expert. Oh, sweet. You do know that doesn't mean playing video games, right? Might want to be careful when you log into your iPad. Just saying. Equipment manager is Joseph. Joseph? I think he's in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Uh, our librarian will be Sarah. Finally, I've been waiting all year for that job. Just remember, there are other books besides Harry Potter. Obviously. There's also the Fantastic Beast books. Miss Thomason, I'm ready for my first day on the job as librarian. Great, right, Sarah, you'll just need to make sure our shelves stay nice and neat and return the school library books when the basket gets full. That's it? Yeah, pretty much. No, Miss Thomason, I can do way better than that. You'll see, I'll be the best librarian you've ever had. I bet you will. Oh, I do have these new books that need to go on our shelves. I'm on it. Thank you, Sarah. Katie, look, she got some new Dork Diaries books. I know you love these. Oh, yay, I've been waiting. I'll put these on the shelf, and when you want one, just tell me, and I'll get it for you. Dork Diaries. Those must have been written by Sarah. <laughs> Oh, right. Just like Diary of a Wimpy Kid is based on your life story. Sarah and Jake could write a book called Diary of a Third Grade Love Story. Dude. <laughs> Emma, 
Are you finished with that book? I'll put it back for you because I'm the librarian. Thanks. Emma, I suggest you read this one next. You'll really like it. Oh, I've already read this, but okay. Joseph, you don't even have a book on your desk. What do you want? I'll get it for you. Sarah, you haven't done any of your math assignment. Miss Thomason, being a librarian is a full-time job. I just don't have time for silly little things like math. Good morning, Sarah. Miss Thomason, can I do some extra credit to bring my grade up from a D to an A? Um, Sarah, it's May. Oh, may I do some extra credit? Oh, honey. Sarah, did you study for your multiplication quiz? Of course I did. Ask me any question. Okay, what's five times eight? Besides five times eight, what's four times six? Besides four times six, what's three times four? Ask me something different. I didn't know you were gonna ask me those ones. Three times three, not that one. Okay, what's one times one? Six. No. I don't wanna leave this class. This has been the best year I've ever had. <laughs> And I say that every year, but this year I really mean it. Could you give me some work to do over the summer? Because I, I just don't want to fall behind it, and I want to be ahead for next year. So, 3 o'clock. I'm out of here. We got you a gift. It's a candle. It cost $10. We had to get it on the way here because my mom forgot. Oh, and a card. There's $50 inside. My mom said I have a D in math, and she wants me to ask you what I can do to get my grade up. Who would like to bid on this item? I really want that. I'll bid $5. Okay, Emma bids $5. Miss Thomason, um, $10. Okay, Sarah, um, $35. $50. $50, are you sure, Sarah? You bought the same thing last time. Yeah, I'm sure, I really need it. Um, $58. $97. Emma, do you wanna bid any more? No, that's all I have. Sold to Sarah. Yes, $97. Emma, I was buying this for you to say thank you for being such a good friend and for helping me with my math homework. For me, really? Oh, I'll help you anytime. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, that was such a nice thing you did for Emma. I should have told her what I was doing. I might have got it for $10. Clearly, I need more of her help with math. I'm in my classroom having lunch and I thought I'd give you a little life update. Nothing too major, but definitely some changes for next year. I'm having McDonald's, obviously, and I'm having fries and a Big Mac and a Diet Coke. So I'll still be teaching third grade, but only part of the time. I forgot to get ketchup. Oh well. So the other part of the time, I'll be teaching the SEL classes for the third through the eighth grade classes at my school. SEL is uh, social emotional learning, if you're not familiar with that term. I'm also starting graduate school to get my master's degree in school counseling. And eventually I'll be taking on the role of school counselor full time. I love teaching and I will definitely miss it, but I, when this opportunity came up, I just couldn't say no. It's something I've always done in my classroom anyway, but to be able to do this full time and to reach a lot more students, it's just, it's what I'm meant to do. Miss Thomason, guess what? I forgot my lunch today. Oh, it's okay, Sarah. I'm sure I can scrounge up something for you. Okay. What are you eating? Well, I got a chicken sandwich from KFC. Oh, I love chicken sandwiches. Me too. Here, why don't you go ahead and have this? Really? Thanks, Miss Thomason. It has pickles on it. I love pickles. Oh, yum. Mmm. It's so juicy looks so good. Chicken is extra crispy and the bun is toasted and it gives it a good crunch. And you know I love a good crunch. I do too. And listen. That is crunchy. Ooh, is that mayo? This is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my whole entire life. I can see that. Good thing I forgot my lunch today. Yeah, it's a good thing. You should get one for yourself. I did. You know what? Miss Johnson's taking you to recess. Sarah, you're in charge, and I'm going back to KFC. I'm in charge? Okay. The whistle. 34, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 39. 39. <laughs> 43. $43, he says. $19 going once, going twice. 
school. Have your lunch, DoorDash to school. Whatever you like. 39. 55. 55. Sold. I know you're going to get McDonald's, right? Huh? <laughs> in twice. Sold for $20. Five dollars. Going once. Going oh so old, what a deal. Comes with gum and unlimited supply of gum yes, for the week. $30, going once, going twice. So old. I could sit at the teacher's desk for the day. It also comes with special teacher privileges. I need water bottle. Six. 45. 46. 55 going twice. 50. 50. So old for $55. Yeah. Last auction of the year. 20. 30 dollars. Star Wars Lego. Three. Five dollars. 21. 21. Are you really going to steal this from me? 21. <laughs> Everybody wants to buy it and give it to him. 35, but I'm going to give it to you for a discount because you're buying it for your friends. 16. 17. I want that. 17. Going once. Buying things left and right for each other. I just, I love it. Okay, here's a pop it ball. I want that so bad. 27 catch <laughs> 10 <laughs> oh man is anybody actually buying anything for themselves going twice <gasps> sold for nine dollars four more mysteries if you buy one you can choose which one you want to take there's a lot of kindness going on in this auction and that just just makes me so proud of you they want a squish oh, yeah. 27 over 28. here. Oh 29. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Lunch, DoorDash. Yeah. 37. <laughs> you can have it. Let her have it. 36. 36 yeah. going twice. Sold. That was really nice. Play and study your geography. 35 going twice. 36. 30. 37. I can't. No. no. 37. Going twice, sold for 10. He bought that for her because she's not here today. That was really, really nice. Would you like to sit at the teacher's desk? Comes with teacher privileges. 80. Sold for $80. 11. 15. 14. I got them from Mrs. Bench on TikTok. You know, the queen of fidgets. Probably because I said she was my favorite TikTok teacher. Ah, uh, yes. How you doing with your math? Bah. I just don't know multiplication. You just don't know it yet. I don't think I'll ever know it. Hmm. Let's imagine Mrs. Bench sent you some more poppets. Let's say she sent you two for every year old you are. How many would that be? Nine, so that would be 18. What if she sent you four a week for seven weeks? Oh, wow. That would be 28. Sarah, you just did multiplication. Really? So if I played with three poppets a day for one week, that would be 21 poppets. Yes. You should have just told me that in the first place. I guess I am good at multiplication. Going twice, sold to Jake for $47. Yes. Bro, I'm gonna be eating good. Just let me know what day and what you want me to DoorDash. Miss Thomason, you might regret that. He's probably gonna order the entire menu. Dude, I'm getting McDonald's and I'm getting a Big Mac because I'm a man. I need meat. I've had a Big Mac before. I don't think you can eat all that. Oh yeah? I can put it away, bet. Next is the coupon to sit at the teacher's desk and it comes with special teacher privileges. Oh, I've been waiting for this. I bid $50. $50? Any more bids? I would, but I already spent all my money. I really want Sarah to get it. Thanks, Emma. Going once? Come on, anyone else besides Sarah. Joseph, dude, sold to Sarah. Yay, 
I've been wanting this all year. Oh, you can use it any day. Oh, and be sure to write down your favorite teacher snacks. Oh, okay. I can't wait. I get to be in charge of the class. Oh, well, this should be fun. Go in twice, sold to Sarah. Yes, your mystery bag. I wonder what it could be. Maybe you could, I don't know, open it. Get ready to be jealous, Jake. If it's something you like, I'm probably not gonna be jealous. Oh, it's mini brands. See, I wouldn't want, wait, Disney mini brands? Never seen those before. Mini Disney store toys in them. Oh, my mom gets me one of those every time I get an A on my spelling test. I only have one so far. It's like a mystery inside a mystery. Yeah. I really hope I get Belle. She's my favorite princess. She loves to read like you do. Oh, I got Alice from Alice in Wonderland. That's my favorite book. I'm kind of scared of him. I'll take it. It's the Minnie Mouse shopping bag. Shopping bag? I got an ultra rare. Sweet. It's just so fun to open these. Dude, I swear, if you get Captain America, I'm gonna riot. I can do this all day. It's fun to watch. Oh, well, I got the beast. But no bell yet. I hope you get it. Oh, this one's Woody. There's a snake in my boot. I've seen Toy Story. Don't tell Jake I got this one. You got it. The last one. I hope it's a good one. It's Belle. Beauty and the Beast. That's just like you and Jake. One day you two are gonna fall in love. Oh, Katie. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, Katie, that's... Ridiculous. Best mystery bag ever. I'll give you all my class dollars for Captain America. Let me think about that. Um, no. School is almost over and this will be our last class option. So let's prepare some mystery bags. First is this Poppet notebook along with some fun pens. Several of the bags will have these pick a Poppet coupons because I have a bunch to give away. Here's a look at what they can choose from. But I am going to put these Poppet dice in this bag. With this coupon, they can choose any item from the prize box. The winner of this bag gets all four of these coupons. We'll make a bag full of chocolate, another bag full of sweet and sour candy, and another bag full of gum. Now let's put together some fidget bags. People often ask, how do the kids buy these items? Well, they use their class dollars that they earn from their classroom jobs. Another common question is, do they get to keep the items that they buy? Of course they do. Whatever they buy is theirs to keep. And what if the kids don't like what they get in the mystery bags? Well, it's always a possibility, but they do have the opportunity to trade with each other. And there's usually a lot of trading going on. Okay, last auction of the year. Hi, I'm back. I've been away for a little while, but um, I'm back in my classroom having a little lunch, doing a little work, and I thought I'd just check in. So lunch is McDonald's, obviously. It's like a reward for having to come to school in the summer, you know? So I'm having fries that are mostly at the bottom of the bag now, and a double cheeseburger with only ketchup because I'm a child, and a Diet Coke, of course. A lot of you have been so nice and asking where I've been and if I was coming back and if I'm okay, and I really appreciate that. That was really, really nice. And I am okay. I went to Colorado for a few weeks and I loved it there. And I even got to meet some of you while I was there, which was really fun. I love it when people come up and say hi. So I've just been kind of taking it easy this summer since I know that I've got a lot of things going on when the school year starts. So it's always good to just kind of really take a break. There's no catch up. Okay, anyway, I'm feeling pretty rested and relaxed and I, I think I'm ready for school to start. We don't start until August, mid-August. But I like to come up before then just to get things kind of in order because then I feel a little less stressed. So how about you? How's your summer been? Well, look what I have here. It's four crumble cookies. The four flavors of the week and I'm going to try them for you. Okay, but Pam, why do you keep emphasizing the word four? I'm celebrating a milestone. Four million followers, four million. There are absolutely no words to express my gratitude and thankfulness for every single one of you who have chosen to click follow on my page. Me, I know. So since there are no words, I'm just gonna eat cookies instead and I'm gonna eat them with you. I tried crumble for the first time a couple weeks ago and I've already been back like three times. So I guess you could say I'm a fan. I'm gonna start with the key lime because it's chilled and I wanna eat it chilled. Look at how pretty. Mm. I love the graham cracker crust. I'm not really a big key lime pie kind of person, but I like cheesecake and it's got a real good cheesecake um, texture. It's just the right amount of tart. Mm, I could eat the whole thing, but I won't. Next, I'll try the peanut butter with Snickers. I love peanut butter, I love Snickers, and I love cookies, so how could you go wrong? Mm. Mm. 
It took a second for the flavor to kick in, but when it did, oh my goodness. I keep taking bites of this because I'm trying to figure out how to explain it, but I can't. It's just, it's just good. Next up is the triple chocolate chip and it's warm. I'm just gonna break it apart. Ooh. Mm. This tastes like a brownie and the crispy edges are like the corner pieces of the brownie. That's the best. Finally, we have the iced oatmeal and it's warm too. It has a good flavor, but it's real dense. It's not my favorite, but I mean, I'm still gonna eat it, so. You watched this the whole way through. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for your continued support. Here's to four million. I gotta clean up this poor kid's desk. I just have one more mini brand to give away and it's going to Sarah. Me, really? Thank you. Can we open them now? Of course. Oh, we're supposed to wait to open them? Ooh, I got a mini lip gloss. Is it my color? That's perfect for you, Katie. Dude, you got Pringles? Yeah, but bro, it looks exactly like the real one. Why do you have a whole can of, Never mind. I got Fruit Loops. You're a Fruit Loop. You are just so funny, Jake. Oh, I got an Almond Joy. I think this is some kind of makeup thing. Katie, you can have it. Oh, it's nail polish, but it's one of the frozen moments. That's a rare one. Emma, you should make her pay for that. You can just charge it to my gold card. Ugh, raisins. I love raisins. I'll trade you that for my money. Dude, that's a fat stack cash. Looks so real. Oh, here's one just for you, Jake. A mini deodorant. Except you would probably need a lot more than this. Well, I've got just the thing for you. A box of diapers. You two, they're just doing what they always do because, you know, they like each other. What? No. I don't know why you always say that. Really? Clearly we're sworn enemies, right, Jake? Right. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and get started with math? 